Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to my channel, Ninja Sun. Look, this channel is about strictly my characters and my books. And this is to give you guys like an insight on the characters and you know how I developed them and how they came along. If you guys are new to the channel, I did put up a you know trailer to show you all of the characters. You know, I haven't done the villains yet. But the villains are coming. <laughs> the villains are coming, so just hold on, guys. They are coming. But uh, I'm giving you guys the, the Ninja Warriors right now. And if you guys have not already noticed that the, uh, the, the leader is me. Yes, uh, the leader is um, modeled after me. I created the... Um, I created this series back in my when I was in high school um when literally like at the last day the last day um that uh, me uh that I was about to graduate uh, it was senior day uh it was um the seniors final day at school and I ran across all three of my friends at the time and they're still my friends today but um I ran across them my best friend, my brother, didn't go to school with me. He was at another school, but I called him and talked to him. So each one of them, I gave them a character. Um, whenever I can release their pictures, and when they're okay with me releasing their pictures, I will release their pictures with the ninja who they are. But um, you'll be able to tell um, because it's the first five Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, and Ninja Sun. You'll be able to, um, but you don't know who they are, but I'm not going to put them out there like that. But, excuse me, but they agreed and, you know, I, you know, made the characters and that's how all of this came about. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, over the next uh, few months, I'm going to be reading um, a couple of pages from the books. To get you guys an idea of what's going on and, you know, into my creativity. And that way you guys, if you so are informed to want to buy the books, you'll be able to. And this is the very first book as I'm wearing the shirt. <laughs> as I'm wearing, hold on, let me see if you guys can see. Wearing the shirt and the book. Got both. So, and... This is the first book. I'm um I never like when you when people uh who writing they give you a good story, uh they give you the foundation. And you're thinking you're going on to the next part of the story, but no, you end up going backwards, going to um the origin stories and how this all began. I don't like that. So what I decided to do, since I'm in control of this. I end up writing the origin story first. And the origin story is this right here. And the other um, six books is going to take you... Well, the other... Um, I should say the other five books will take you into, you know, where we're going to go into the future. But anyway, now this cover was draw, um, drawn by my um, editor... This was the first book that, you know, this was on my editor. He drew the characters and everything. But he did not really know because I really didn't give him, like, you know, the aspects of the characters. But I did like how he drew Ninja Sun. I do like how he did this. And I like how he drew the parents. And these are the evil brothers over here. So I like that. These are supposed to be the Ninja Warriors, but I did not give him the aspects of the ninjas because I just needed a cover to put out on, you know, Amazon so the book can be published. So, we got it. So, I got the book and I got the cover and I'm telling y'all, my editor did a really good job and that's why you, I have the shirt on right now. I love it. Now, if you want the shirt, you can go to Kenny Lowe's, um, appeal com. I have the shirts there. I have, you know, all the other stuff. And you can also get the book off of Amazon. So, 
without further ado, I'm going to read you out a couple of pages from chapter 4. And chapter 4 is um, the final chapter of the book. Now, my book is only four, um, four chapters, 40 pages. So it's not a hard read. You can read, um, you can read them, you know, uh, within like three or four hours. Less than that, if you're a good reader, you know, not meaning you can't read, meaning like if you're a reader who reads a lot, you know, that would be a short time for you. Um, and also, um, I'm going to give you guys the final chapter because I want to give y'all the good stuff. But I ain't going to give y'all too much. So you guys going to have to, you know, buy the book to get the rest. Okay, so chapter four is called Invasions. Now, where I'm starting from is the uh, chapter four is set up to be the final. Um, it's the final battle, and everything is you know everything is on the line. The Ninja Warriors. I'm not gonna say because that's too far into the um, chapter, and I'm not going there. But what happens is Ninja Sun and um, Ninja Sun and the Ninja Warriors are facing off against the biggest threat, which is Feral Scyther. So, he's finally come to the planet um, to claim what he think is his, which is the Excalibur Diamond. So, Invasion is um, where he comes in to, you know, claim what, to state what is his. It's the Excalibur Diamond. So, let me read y'all a couple of passages of that. Dion turns, pa um, turns pale as the massive numbers of troops into the palace, uh, into the palace ground. Seth Rye in his full garments, blue pants, white, uh, white muscle shirt, and black boots appear on the palace stairs. He bargains with his, he bargains with his father. Father, give up. You have no chance of winning. Plus, Uncle Scyther wants the diamond. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> King Raylan looks at his sons. Uh, as tears falls from his eyes, the symbol on his forehead was reacting with his feelings. Now, the symbol on their on his forehead is like a triangle, like is like the upside down triangle, and where the point is pointing down this way, and it also has you know um well that's Ninja Suns, but um the royal symbol um is the triangle. I haven't figured out what I want to put in the middle. But Ninja Sons, y'all will see that one, so I'm not going to tell y'all that one. As the royal troops are coming uh, coming out in hundreds, a clash begins with the two opposing uh, forces. A fight be uh, As the fight begins, King Raylan, uh, King, the king turn, turns away. Dion looks over at the battlefield as he remembers, um, as he remembers he was the new king. Yes, y'all got to read that. Dion quickly transforms and um, went to the battlefield. Back inside the palace, panic uh, erupts as uh, erupts all over as Daryl approached the king. Uncle, what is going on? Daryl said with urgency. Darian and Darius are outside battling uh, Dion with a huge army. The king said with sadness. <sighs> Daryl looks horrified as he heads out for um, heads for the battlefield. Elsewhere in the palace, the others um, get word of the destruction that was taking place outside of the <clears throat> of all. I mean, was taking place outside. All other ninjas transform and head to the uh, head out to fight. The queen was watching as uh, watching the ninjas leave the palace as King Raylan walks up to her. The queen gazed into her husband's eyes, which were filled with tears as she kissed him passionately. Mm. Yes. I'll tell y'all about the king and queen later. <laughs> As explosions uh, continue to uh, be seen through the from the window. Yeah, the battlefield, yeah, the palace is, I mean, the whole entire planet is in turmoil. Um, Scyther has this whole entire army storming the, uh, storming the palace. He, I mean, he went from um, the whole entire planet. He got forces all over the planet. But his main goal was to take down the palace. And that's exactly what he's doing. Oh, and y'all will find out a, uh, a few secrets about Pharaoh Scyther within this chapter. So, 
Y'all already know, um, y'all already know, uh, well, I'm not even going to spoil it. You guys got to read it. Back on the battlefield, the army and the ninjas uh, were, defending the, uh, were defending the planet in an all-out fight. The planet has been overrun with psychic forces as they destroy innocent people's homes. Ninja Sun was fighting off his brothers as Ninja Sagittarius uh, came to help. Came to help out. The other ninjas were fighting to keep the troops from overrunning the palace as the king uh, ready all of the palace force uh, defenses. The royal forces were <clears throat> were filling out uh, was filling outside the palace gate uh, the palace grounds as sight their um, troops comes for um, comes towards the palace. Okay, now we're gonna get to the good stuff. Out of nowhere, Ninja Ares appears using his um, powerful ice attack, Icy Avalanche. Yes, I I'll explain that. Ninja Ares uses, uh, was surfing on an ice spike as uh, a raging avalanche follows him. He flew, he flew over the uh, troops as the target, uh, as he targeted Scyther's army. The avalanche hits them with so much force that it covers all of them. Ninja Ares stands up, snaps his finger, and the troops shatter into di uh, to diamond dust. That is his most powerful attack. I should have gave y'all that one too early, <laughs> but that was but that's what he did. Ninja Stratus uses his dark um, dark black hole attack, sucking all of the troops um, by him. As Ninja Orion and Aquarius combine their water and fire attack to war off the rest of the troops. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's getting good, guys. Ninja Capricorn summons um, a huge to, uh, lightning bolt, which crashes down and, electri uh, and electrify the ground and shaking, I mean, and shot most of the troops. Ninja Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini 2, and Libra starts, uh, started to control the number of soldiers um, coming towards them. Ninja Scorpio uses her dance of death. Now, I don't think I explained that. Oh, yes, I do. The flying blades begin to slice through um, through the soldiers as um, Scorpio does a final pose and yet on her uh, finishing her attack. Now, what Scorpio does, uh, she has chakra, and the final uh, the final attack is she uses um, the um, dance of death. She takes the chakras and she does a uh, she does like a dance. She takes them and throw them up in the air, and um, there's like multiple, multiple that mo that multiplies into the air. She does one final dance, and they come down out of the sky and just ravish through the opponents. That is the dance of death. <laughs> Ninja Taurus, Apollo, Leo, and Cancer all combine uh, to create a huge beam to sweep the uh, to sweep the soldiers. Man, this is way too many. I've seen, <clears throat> it seems like there is no end, Ninja Taurus exclaimed Ninja Taurus, as more soldiers shows up as um, Ninja Serpent uses his quicksand attack to sink the oncoming threat. Where did you come from? <laughs> yeah, Ninja Apollo, <laughs> no time for that. We must keep moving, guys, exclaimed Ninja Taurus, I mean Ninja Leo. Now, Ninja Leo is like second in command to Ninja Sun. I know y'all gonna probably say, "Well, why wasn't anyone from the main team?" Long story. Uh, Ninja Sun was facing his brothers, and uh, <clears throat> Ninja Sagittarius was helping him. Archangelus, no, Archangel. Oh, he forgot to put Angelus, but that's fine. That's fine. Archangel was fighting um, Sagittarius. Uh, fighting Sagittarius. Sagittarius is using his flame attack aimed at Archangelus. The fire attack um, consisted uh, consisted of um, flaming rings that hit that hits Archangel's head, <laughs> knocking him to the ground as it causes fire. Not as it catches fire. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's almost like um, he has these fire. It's, it's like um, it's called um, fire flame. He takes the fire um, and generate it into like um, circles, almost like um, chakrams of Ninja Scorpio. But 
he takes them and uh, shoots them from the palm of his hand. And oh my gosh, yeah, that's what happens. Ooh, let me see. Um, Ninja Sun face off against Sethra as he pulls his swords from the back of his hand and charge on um, Sethra. Ninja Sun was on the uh, Ninja Sun was on the offensive as Sethra teleports and sucker punches Ninja Sun in the face. Ninja Sun went flying across the ground, hitting a huge boulder. Ninja Sagittarius saw Sethra um, saw Sethra go um, go go for Ninja Sun. Archangel knocked the uh, knocked the fire away and summoned soldiers. Then uh, Sagittarius began to run, run at a high speed to uh, to spark flames from his feet. The flames grow uh, grew and grew. The flames burned. Oh, you know what? I forgot I even wrote this. Y'all. I forgot I wrote all of this. Um, the flames uh, the flames um, burned <clears throat> burned the soldiers. As Ninja, as he kicked Ninja, uh, Sethra away from Ninja Sun. Ooh, yeah, I'm giving y'all more than what y'all supposed to be giving. Let me see, where am I? Um, oh, okay. You can't do anything on your own, can you? Now, this is how Ninja Sagittarius and Ninja Sun talk to each other. And to be honest, this is how me and my best friend, um, Ashley, you, we still talk to each other this way. You can't do anything on your own, can you? Ninja Sagittarius said as Ninja Sun gets up from the ground. I didn't ask for your help. Why are you even here? <laughs> as Ninja Sun. <laughs> this is how me and Ashley talk to each other. Seriously. <laughs> Saving your ass as always. You really are useless, Ninja Sagittarius snapped. As the two argue, Ninja uh, Archangel grabs Sethra's sword and swings at uh, and swung it at Ninja Sun. Ninja Sagittarius step in the way, uh, step in the way of the blade, and um, and it hits his eye. The blade, uh, the blade left a huge cut over uh, his eye as um, his eye begins to bleed. And I think I'm going to leave it right there, guys. I think I'm, I'm going to leave it on the cliffhanger right there. Now, this one is called Ninja Sun, The Beginning. That was Chapter 4, Invasions. That was just the first two pages. You guys must check it out. I promise you, you guys will not, you guys will not um, regret it. They're only $9.99, $10 on Amazon. Um, I have ebooks. Um, I have Kindle and um, paperback. Now I'm working on getting. Um, I'm working on getting uh, audio books. So audio books are not coming no time soon. I, that's a lot of money that I don't have. But I am working towards it, and I'm also working on a video trailer for you guys to actually get a chance to um, sit back and um, see the ninjas in action. So I'm working on a video trailer, uh, an animated trailer for that. And I have a GoFundMe that is coming up soon. So I will put the link in the description. So you guys, if you feel so inclined to want to donate to um, the video fund to actually uh, help me get the trailer together so you guys can see them in action, I will really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Welcome to my channel. Please hit the like um, and the share and the subscribe button. Don't forget to come back and see your boy. I love you guys. Y'all be safe. I will see you guys later.